Hi everyone, Anthony Cummins here. I'd like to uh, welcome you to this video. We're looking at the next step in ninjutsu. Right, well what do I mean? So basically, let's go back to the beginning. Almost a decade ago, almost a decade ago, I started this quest for historical ninjutsu. Then, about five years later, Mie University in Japan, they started their investigation. And now, coming up this year, Oh, what in the near future is a book by Stephen Turnbull. Now, if you're unaware, Dr. Stephen Turnbull works for Leeds University. I think he's retired now. And uh, he did produce some books on the ninja. But very recently, in an article called um, Basically an Invented Tradition, he says that his past work was wrong and he's starting again. Which, to me, brilliant stuff. If we're wrong, we're wrong. Let's just admit it. Move on. Now, I recently went for dinner in Japan with uh, Turnbull, Dr. Turnbull, and here we are, here's a picture of us enjoying a curry together. We had a lovely evening, it was fantastic. Um, we had good fun, we talked about Ninja, I looked over some of the concepts for his new book, and uh, me and Dr. Turnbull have been chatting via email for a year or so, maybe two years now, discussing about Ninjitsu and what we should do, where we should go, and you know, we, we've been putting ideas back and forth. So. In this year coming up, in the next, since this video goes up, there's two new ninja books coming out. So first of all is Ninja Skills by me, that's here, and you, the links are below. And then we get, more importantly for this video, is Dr. Turnbull's Ninja Unmasking, basically unmasking the ninja, unmasking the truth. Uh, there's the uh, image, and again, links will be down below. Now, the first thing that um, really struck me when I was talking to Dr. Turnbull was we were coming at the same thing from two ways. I didn't think about this before. I only think, obviously, selfishly, in my own way, like I'm coming at it my way. Now, my question is, what did Samurai and Ninja actually do? This is from my archaeological background. My, you know, going through my university and masters was to do with archaeology. It's on the ground, nuts and bolts. What were people doing with their hands? What were people thinking? How, how was life working? Now, what Dr. Turnbull's doing is a history of the ninja from day one to the end. That's his. Now, imagine it's two sides of the same coin. I'm doing what did the ninjas actually do? He's doing what is the history of the ninja. So, where is he going with this? Well, when we got chatting, I suddenly realized, and through all the emails, that we're definitely pretty much 99.9% .9 saying the same things now. He's been reviewing it, and he's been going through and getting basically rid of the influence of Yumi Onawa, Fujita Seiko, and Ito Gingetsu, and going through what they have said, and, and where they've gone wrong, and when the history of Ninja has gone wrong. And he's calling it an invented tradition, meaning how has ninjutsu reinvented itself from day one all the way to now, and depending on what the, the circumstances of the time. So what we have there, on one hand, in my book, Ninja Skills, you've got a breakdown, 150 lessons on how to do, physically do, ninjutsu. Dr. Turnbull's book is a full book, multiple chapters on the history of the ninja from beginning to the end and how that's changed because the, the political climate or the social climate and what people have wanted from ninjutsu. Now he's gone back to the primary sources and then he's gone back to the secondary sources and he's gone through everything that way. So we're both coming at it in this direction. So within the next 12 months you should have these new two books giving you two sides of the story. However, there's a massive white elephant in the room. Now, uh, I don't mean to start any intimate argument, but it's just a simple truth and we've got to go through it. We've now come to almost, with Dr. Turnbull joining the work, you've come to a crunch point. And you've got to think, what is this crunch point? I've been saying since late 2008, early 2009, around about that time, ninjutsu is not hand-to-hand -hand combat. Of course, there's many, many schools that do ninja hand-to-hand -hand combat. And I have said, no, nope, that's just not right. Now, of course, there was a big uproar about this, but after all the years, we've won out and everybody now agrees. There isn't anybody in the ninja community who doesn't agree that there's no such thing as a ninja hand time combat, specialised only for them, and that uh, known as ninjutsu. And we all now agree it's clandestine um, operations, uh, all spycraft, infiltration, commando stuff. It's, it's that. But this leaves with a problem. It leaves that all the people who are arguing, 
absolutely for this passed on Nimpo Taijutsu tradition are actually now stuck with what do they say? Because if Dr. Turnbull's book, now I've not read Dr. Turnbull's book yet as of this making this video, I've only seen basic sections and we've talked about areas and of course authors always do, they keep their work close till it's time to publish and then they, they start, before it's out, they start releasing little bits and Dr. Turnbull's done exactly the same with me, I've not read his book but through the conversations we've had, I'm getting an idea of it. So this idea where people in the past have trained since the 19, late 1970s, early 1980s in this ninja hand -hand combat but now they openly agree okay it's not that that's not ninjutsu but you've got a choice when you read dr turnbull's book and when i read it for the first time we're going to say does he agree with anthony cummins now remember i don't know if he does or does not agree with me wholeheartedly we've only had polite conversation so in his work he's going to say yes or no or this is happening what's going on now if he agrees he's independent to me then it leaves you guys you ninja students in a situation what do you do with your past when you were doing this ninja martial arts and all you know following these ninja martial art masters so you, you've got that question to answer first of all I, the, my favorite answer to this is Anthony I'm with it I just moved on it's not ninja martial arts it's just hand-to-hand -hand combat from Japan let's move on and get on with thing and they admit in the past they followed the wrong thing that's fine however some people really twist and turn and change their story just to try and make that past fit in but if Turnbull agrees with me that includes my team because remember we put the historical ninjutsu research team together then the question rises why did we have this period where it clearly was not correct and something was going wrong so this means that you guys as students have to think what can I do how, how do I equate in my mind those years spent doing something that was incorrect now I would suggest if Dr. Turnbull's book is what I imagine it to be, you're going to have to now seriously think, okay, Anthony Cummins says so, but hold on, I don't like Anthony Cummins, I don't believe Anthony Cummins, forget him. So the Bansen Shukai says so, okay, that Anthony Cummins and his team published that, I, I don't agree with it, which is strange, how can you not agree with the publication, Is the translation is what the translation is, but then other people have translated it, yeah? These other people have translated it, who if you believe them, it's the same thing, slight differences, but the concepts are the same inside the book. It's absolutely the same. It's the same manual. You can't change what the manual is. You can have opinions on it, but you can't change it. So what that leaves is, you know, a very, you're like, okay, so I might not believe Anthony Cummins, I might not like Anthony Cummins, but the other people who've translated are pretty much saying the same thing. So that leaves the translations, the primary evidence must be correct, and there it is. So then you've got, okay, uh, what do we do next? So. We don't believe Anthony Cummins, or we do believe Anthony Cummins, but the primary evidence is telling us this. So now you've got Dr. Turnbull. So the next layer, so first of all, Anthony Cummins says so. Second layer, primary evidence is brought out. Third layer, Dr. Stephen Turnbull has now brought out his opinion. And he has said in the past he was wrong, which means this time he's going to get it right, or he's going to strive to get it right. So if you say, no, Anthony Cummins is wrong. No, the original manuals are wrong. No, Stephen Turnbull is wrong. You have to say why. This is the pressure building up for those people who are clinging on to that past of oh, Nimpo Taijutsu and my ninja martial arts. So guys, what I want you to do, I want you to be positive. I want you to look back now and think, okay, that martial arts I did was not ninjutsu. However, it gave me some great fitness. I got some great skills. I've enjoyed myself. I've got some friends. I just have to go with it. I agree or don't agree with pretty much what Anthony Cummings says, but you know, at the end of the day, you're going to have to say why. Then you're going to have to say why you don't agree with the primary evidence. And you're going to have to say you don't agree, why you don't agree with Dr. Turnbull. Assumingly, you're going to have to agree with all of them. Because the evidence is so overwhelming now for what ninjutsu was that it's ridiculous. Now, I know all the way back into the past, in right into the beginning of the Nimpo Taijutsu days, people did understand it was uh, climbing, espionage. That's absolutely fine. Everybody has always agreed that ninjutsu is espionage. But what's happened is that little branch out there that became very popular of this ninja martial art has to be snipped off, got rid of, and people have to say, okay, I believed it for 20 years, but I don't believe it anymore. Where's our next step? So the next step, this is why I've produced Ninja Skills, the book. I've produced Ninja Skills, the book, which is a breakdown of the mainly the Bansen Shukai, but other books and other manuals that I've got. And I've divided the Bansen Shukai into about 700 independent lessons. I went through and stripped it all off. 
Ninja Skills is the first 150. Now I say the first 150, but in actuality, it's the hand-picked first, the top 150 that I think are the best ones. We've illustrated it, we've put it together in a very easy to understand system. You can just pick up the book, jump between the lessons. It's all put together just for you guys to be able to quickly get to grips with historical ninjutsu. Right, some questions for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. First of all, did you used to believe in this idea of a ninja hand-to-hand -hand combat system? And if you've now changed your mind, how are you dealing with that from an emotional level? As in, that's what you used to do and used to believe it, but now you're, you know it's not true. So how are you guys dealing with it? Any answers will do. I'll try my best to come back and keep looking at it. Also, how are you using ninjutsu in your day-to-day -day life? Are you finding it useful? Are you finding it easy? Is it difficult to understand and use the ancient documents? All your feedback here, guys, I can then use to produce better and better books. Now, the reason I've done ninja skills like this is because people were reading the Bansen Shukai and in the ninja community, people, everybody in the ninja community pretty much bought Bansen Shukai. It sold really well. It was like, it was excellent. It just kept going off the bookshelves. Of course, now everything's calmed down. Uh, it's just got good steady sales and the publisher is very happy. And hence they wanted to do ninja skills, like, come on, let's do ninja skills. What I found was that while people had bought the Bansen Shukai, they were finding it difficult to interact with the material. So I've done ninja skills, I've broken it down so you guys can go, okay, that's what it means. That's how it references Sun Tzu. That's how it works with Gumpo. That's how it works with astrology. And I've placed it all together in certain chapters. Now I'll give you more information on the book when it gets closer to the time of publication. However, again, the links are in below. Guys, I'm looking forward to your comments. Now remember, just, just remember guys, there are some people who are emotionally hurt out there they, and they, they, the response to emotional hurt is anger. and People are very angry. Honestly, they're not angry at me. They're angry at the fact that they have spent X amount of years in Japan. They've spent X amount of time learning Japanese. They've spent X amount of time studying in America, say under a master or studying in the UK under a master and then realized actually they've not clocked or noticed this that for 20 years, you know, 30 years, the wrong thing was going on. So what we found is a lot of anger out there, but over the last decade, people are now maturing and they're coming to grips with it and they're now realizing, ah, okay, right, this is what ninjutsu is. And I think the, the real ninjutsu is much better than this, the fake fancy one we had. So what do you think, guys? Let me know. Let me know what you'd like me to do in the future for future books. And I hope, please, 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 go and pre-order both the books, but especially pre-order Dr. Turnbull's book because he's independent to me and, and me at university. He's another person who's coming together to find the history of ninjutsu. So that puts my team, the historical ninjutsu research team, it puts me at university and it now puts Dr. Stephen Turnbull from Leeds University. Three independent sources coming, hopefully, to the same conclusions. So, so what can we make of that?